The Big Three met at Versailles in 1919 to decide the fate of Germany and its future. So, what did they each want? Well, we have David Lloyd George of Britain, we have George Clemenceau of France, and we have Woodrow Wilson of America. So, firstly, George Clemenceau. His vicious and aggressive policy towards Germany gave him the nickname the Tiger. Now, France had a very bad history with Germany. They suffered many losses, such as the Franco-Prussian War in which they lost Alsace-Lorraine to old Germany. So, Clemenceau wanted not only French protection, but also to regain their honor. So, what were his aims? Well, he firstly desired for revenge, and through this, um, he would also be punishing and crippling Germany, ensuring French protection. He also demanded huge reparations, as France had suffered the most from the First World War and wanted compensation for their losses. He also asked that the German army be disbanded or reduced to 100,000 men to ensure French protection once again. He also asked for an independent Rhineland, the space between France and Germany, for French security. He also asked that Alsace-Lorraine be returned to French uh, control so they could regain their honor when it came to that standpoint. And lastly, he even asked that Germany be broken up into many, many smaller states, and hence they would no longer be a threat to any European country. Woodrow Wilson was for America. Now, he outlined all of his points in a document called the 14 points. And as you will see, he was a pacifist and an idealist. He wanted world peace. So he firstly asked that Germany not be punished too harshly, as it was against his ideals. He also wanted self-determination to be strengthened in smaller countries that, you, that used to be under the control of an empire. He also wanted international cooperation for the world work together. He also asked that democracy be strengthened in smaller countries, which were defeated. And he also asked that the League of Nations be created. This was his biggest and most important point and is the most remembered one in history. In the middle, we have David Lloyd George of Britain. Lloyd George was in an interesting position. He had a clash between his personal opinion and the public opinion. See, he personally felt uh, that Germany should not be punished too harshly as he feared it would start another world war. However, at the time, it was elections in the UK and the public demanded that Germany be punished. So as a result, he had to satisfy the people who needs to be re-elected. So he asked for a just peace, one where he didn't harm Germany too much, but still satisfied the punishment that people wanted. He also asked that Germany remain in a position where Britain could trade with them as they were economic partners. He also demanded that the German colonies be put under the control of the British Empire, expanding their land, especially in Africa. And lastly, he desired that the German Navy would be disbanded, hence maintaining and securing the British naval supremacy that they so desired and respected. So these were what they wanted, but as we come to see, no one person was fully satisfied or happy with the Treaty of Versailles. Well, that's all we have for today, so be sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe for more.